Hey everybody, my name is George and welcome to this very first Jena tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to download and set up Jena in Eclipse so we can start developing some semantic web applications. And basically Jena uh, is an API uh, designed to develop, uh, well as I said, uh, semantic web applications. So Jena is a Java API which uh, you can use with uh, Eclipse or NetBeans, I don't know. Um, whichever ID you like and uh, basically the first you need to do the first thing that you need to do is to download Jena so go ahead and type in jena.apache.org uh, slash download uh, or just type Jena download on Google and you will be uh, in this uh, site over here where you can just click uh, on this link and you can download the binaries of Jena so go ahead and click binaries and then download the latest version of Jena. So that will be Apache Jena uh, 2.10 and then point, uh, one. And after that, uh, when you download Jena, just be sure to store it in a safe place. Uh, you will uh, be getting the zip or tar G, uh, GZ, I don't know. But you will be having this uh, folder which contains all these. Uh, uh, information over here. So now that you downloaded Jena, just open Eclipse and create a new project. So I create this project called Jena Application, and I have a main class, and I don't have Jena added to this project over, um, right now. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to modify the properties of this project, and I'm going to add a library uh, into this uh, uh, project. So just click Add Library a user library I already have this one over here but um, just click on new if you don't have it yet and type in the name you want for example general lib click OK and what you're gonna do with your library is that you're going to add external jars so click on that and then find your Apache Jena folder click on it then click on the, the library folder which is this one over here and then just uh, go ahead and add all the jars that you can find in that folder so you will uh, basically uh, add uh, the entire API to this library and basically that's it when you do this uh, you basically have your library now you can click on OK and add the library uh, into your uh, project so click OK now you have your general library added into your Eclipse project. So this is uh, basically everything for this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys uh, find it very useful. Now uh, this is only for development. If you want to actually run applications uh, on on a server uh, you, by using Jena, you, you need to uh, declare some environment uh, variables. Uh, but you can find that on the on internet. So basically on the all the documentation is you will find it uh, on jena.apache.org you can find some tutorials and um, some documentation and even some uh, getting started files I normally don't like uh, reading so much I like more like videos that's why I'm actually making uh, this video uh, so I'm gonna leave it uh, here and in the, in the next tutorial we're going to make a basic example where uh, we're going to write some RDF uh, uh, models uh, uh, using Jena and it's going to be fun so I hope you guys like it uh, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video